A virtual WAN license can be activated on the Peplink Balance 20X routers. The license key will automatically be applied to activate the feature if your Balance 20X is active on in Control 2. If it is not, simply go to the System tab and select Feature Add-ons. Then paste the license key here and click Activate to start the setup. Back at the dashboard page of the Balance router, you can see our firmware is current at version 8.2.1. However, in order for this feature to work, we need to either downgrade to a special version of 8.1.2, or we can go to the new 8.3.0 firmware here, which is still in beta. That is what we're going to do. We'll download the firmware first and upload it to the router. This upgrade process will take about five to seven minutes to complete. The firmware is now upgraded to version 8.3.0, as you can see here. To begin, we need to enable the virtual WAND. If you're on the special 8.1.2 firmware, you'll click on the virtual WAND from the network and WAN page. For 8.3.0 users, we'll just click on the virtual WAN from the dashboard like this. The configuration window will appear. Start by checking the box to enable this connection. You can configure these additional settings as required for your WAND. Otherwise, refer to the uplink interface here and set it from WAN to LAN. Also enter an VLAN ID that is not currently in use on your balance network. We're using 10. Save and apply the changes at the bottom of the window when you're ready. Next, we need to assign the virtual WAN to a LAN port. Go to the network tab and select port settings on the left. We're going to edit port number four, but you can use any of the LAN ports. Click on the LAN port you want to use and this window will appear. Rename the port if desired, set the port type to access, and the VLAN network should be set to the reserve VLAN, which should match the VLAN ID you used in the WAN configuration. Click Save at the bottom of the window when done, then apply changes at the top right. Now we'll head over to the dashboard page again to check the virtual WAN status. As you can see, it is already connected. That's all there is to the configuration. We hope you found this video helpful and welcome you to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you.